Uh, some great men of God. This is the beginning of the year, and if you want to end the year better, start it better. And so what better way to start a year than to be in a place where the Word of God is being preached and prayer is being done. And so if you are uh, a follower of On Live Radio, you, must have, you may remember that two days ago, I was here having a chat with Pastor Gift, who is hosting a conference. And Pastor Gift is back in the studio today. Pastor Gift, welcome back. Welcome. Thank you so very much, family. Welcome to this program once again. Thank you. All right. So last time we had a chat here, Pastor Gift had a guest all the way from the Republic of South Africa, uh, Pastor Johan Brewer. And today we are privileged to have another guest all the way from the from 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 the Republic of Nigeria. I don't know. It's, 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 that's a republic, right? Right. It's, 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 Nigeria is. Um, what state? Um, I'm the, looking federal state. Federal, the fe yeah. I wanted to use the word the federal state. <laughs> All right. So wonderful. I love the fact that in Nigeria there are states in in Nigeria. But welcome, uh, man of God. This is Apostle Philip Kefas, all the way from Nigeria. Welcome to Zambia. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, One Love Radio. It's a privilege to be here. And thank you so much to my beloved uh, host here, Pastor Gift. All right. Have you been in Zambia before? No, no, this is my first time in Zambia. I can say this is my first time in Southern Africa. No, it's okay. It's a long hour of light. Uh, so much, so much stress. Uh, okay. Uh, but. All right. Uh, I must mention that Zambia loves Nigeria so much. And so we share so much because I think we have seen many missionaries coming from Nigeria to do the work of God here. So you're welcome, a man of God. Thank you so much. Pastor Gift, take us through what's been happening so far at the conference. Great, great happenings at the conference. So far, so good. We started on a higher note. The Spirit of the Lord has been on the move. He's been uh, doing great and mighty things. Uh, we had um, uh, the, the, the second day on, the, on, the, on, on Tuesday, we had Joan Brewer. Uh, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. The second day, it was powerful. And it, it, it is just moving from glory to glory. We are changing level every day. We are seeing people transformed in the knowledge and in the power of God. So it has been awesome so far. Great. And um, mm. Pastor Kefas, um, when did you fly in? Um, I think I began my uh, flight um, actually yesterday from okay. Abuja. Oh, okay. So, but uh, we came in to uh, Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. Okay. I came over. Then I came in today to. Zambia. Alright, yeah, so Zambia. now that you are in Zambia and I believe you will be ministering, what should people expect in the conference? Um, the, the theme of this conference is a glory shift conference. Mm -hmm. So actually from the original intention of God, man is actually a product of the glory of God. Mm. Man was actually created in the glory of God. From mm. the original creation of man, man was in the glory. God put man in the glory. Mm. So the glory of God was what defined the nature of man. Mm. So, but man lost the glory of God from the beginning. So he now lost dominion. Mm. So God began a journey of restoring man back to glory so that man can have dominion to be able to enforce the government of God upon the face of the earth. The security system that guarantees the operations of God is in the glory of God. That is why the whole of heaven constitutes the glory of God. Mm. So the extension of that glory is what we see in the Garden of Eden, which actually Adam lost that privilege. So God is trying to restore back mankind into the glory so that mankind can have dominion. Dominion is a product of the glory of God. So, and immediately when man does not sustain the glory of God, man becomes naked. Mm. The nakedness of a man cannot be covered by clothes. Cloth was a similitude that God tried to cover man when man was naked. Because mm. what man lost in the garden of Eden was not clothes. Mm. It was the glory. So, man wasn't naked from the beginning. Mm. So, but when man lost the glory, man became naked and he also lost dominion. Mm. So, God tried to cover man's nakedness by slaughtering an animal. 
it does not necessarily mean that man was still covered. That's why till today, without the glory of God upon your life, you are still naked. It doesn't matter the clothes you put upon. Mm. But when the glory of God comes upon a man's life, dominion is restored, then glory is restored. Then the atmosphere of God is visible in the region. Then the kingdom of God is final expression. Then man cannot execute the intentions of God. So what people should expect in this conference is the restoration of the glory of God upon their lives, upon their family. Then I trust God entirely upon the land of Lusaka and Zambia at large. The glory of God can be restored again. Wow. This is powerful. Pastor Gift, as a man of God, is explaining. I'm remembering in the Bible the story uh, of the ark being captured and uh, talking about Ichabod. Yes. Uh, and take us through just um, a, a lot more deeper to, to, to understand about this. I'm so much captivated by the glory that the man of God is talking about. So I, I just my mind just went to that uh, same portion of scripture. The glory was, was, was lost. And how should people now get back the glory um, in their lives? That is uh, quite um, a journey. Uh, as, a, as the man of God has, has explained, it is um, the, the glory that was lost from the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, from the beginning of time. This is the time that uh, uh, Christ himself, this, this time we're living in, is the time that Christ himself has uh, now come through to come and reconnect us back to the glory. Mm -hmm. He has come through and we've got to now um, it, it allow Christ to be part of us. We've got now to uh, allow the Spirit of God to reign because we are spirit beings. We are not uh, physical beings. We are spiritual beings uh, living in the physical body. So now if the, the physical body has taken uh, uh, the, 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 the whole entire control of mm -hmm. a human, a human is naked, there is nothing, he is a sinner, he is living in, in wallowing, there is nothing, he is distorted. So the only time uh, man begins to flourish in the will and in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the plans that God has given him is when man begins to operate in the spirit with mm. God because God is a spirit. So now this is the time, the conference is the time that we are trying to fly, to, to, to journey in the spirit, to know what it means to be in the spirit and then we, we restore back the glory and the power that we lost from the beginning. So it is quite a, a, a journey. I believe that uh, through the servants of God who have come and together with us here will be able to explain what is this journey in the spirit, in the, in the glory of God. Thank you so much. Okay, that, that's, that's great. Apostle Kephas, um, somebody might be listening into the program and he's saying, man of God, I used to preach, I used to sing, I used to pray. Uh, uh, everything is lost in my life. Is it possible that I can come to the conference and get back to where I used to be? Yes, yes, very true. Um, when we study all true scripture, there is one thing I know about God. It's true that uh, when men lose their concentration on God, they lose a lot of things. Every time God gives you a dimension, the gift and the corners of God are without repentance, so long as concentration is kept. But when the concentration is lost, immediately, everything begins to go. So when you look at the case of Sam, uh, Samson, Samson was actually flexing around for a while. You know, he was, he was doing a lot of things that were wrong, you know. There was no problem, but immediately when the concentration, concentration is what God demands upon me to keep the glory, because anytime God glory comes, there's a pattern, a structure that was put in place to sustain the glory. The same way when God gave a command to Adam and Eve, there was a structural pattern that was put in place as a formidable knowledge for them to keep to. There's a path man have to play to ensure that that glory is sustained. But immediately when that path is broken, it doesn't matter whatever it is, the glory will be lost. But by the time you restore back yourself into that original pattern, the glory is restored. So immediately the first step is to actually, paraventure there is a concentration in your life. There is something the Lord says you should be doing that you're not doing. Paraventure there were things you used to do that you stopped doing. Paraventure there are a lot of, you know, sin joining to iniquity. When it becomes iniquity, it's a willful intention now. So because of the aboutment of iniquity, God withdraws himself. Not just because you sin, you miss a mark. So oftentimes when that happens, concentration is lost. When that concentration is lost, by the time you repent and return back, God will empower you again. And one thing I believe about God is this, um, there was a cupboard, but there was also a cupboard. God always come back again when he sees genuine brokenness. 
David, a man after God's own heart, God's own heart, was also a man that actually lost the glory once upon a time, but you didn't turn back. So if you have the understanding that the glory has left you, you can also cry for God to restore it back again because he is actually the custodian of the glory and he chooses to show mercy to us wherever he can show mercy to. So I really believe that there are so many people listening to me right now that actually have been functioning in diverse dimensions of operations in God. But eventually, something took that away. You know, so, but I believe that God can restore. It is true. Many people say God is not the God of second chance. But if that's true, then me and you cannot really be serving God today because all of us are falling short of the glory of God. So from the very beginning, God looked upon us with mercy and he was able to redeem man. So God is still in the process of redeeming mankind. So I want us to be able to understand that we should not run away from God like the way Adam and Eve do. No, God knew, but he wanted them to actually come to the point of understanding that they have lost something. Then he can restore them back to it. So sincerely speaking, uh, a protocol will be teached in the conference upon which men can restore themselves back to God. Then also the prayer of faith in the Bible says can bring one, can save one. You know, when devil intend to come after Peter, Jesus said, Peter, Peter, the devil desire to see you like you did, but I have prayed for you that your faith will fail not. And what you have spent is a strengthen your brother. That's to say that the prayer of faith can strengthen, can bring one back from decadence. So I really believe, I have a lot of scripture to say about many people that actually have way of purpose. By prayer, they were restored back. So I believe that in the atmosphere of the glory, mm. you can also become a partaker of the glory. Because this is actually your nature. This is actually who you are. You know, mankind is referred to as the temple of God. And the temple of God has diverse dimensions. There is the outer court, the inner court, and the holy of holy. It's a journey, but we will mm. journey through as long as you are willing to join it. So it doesn't matter wherever you are. In fact, God does not even look for people that are qualified. He looks for people that are not qualified, then he qualifies them. It is the qualification, the empowerment of God that mm. makes us who we are. Many years ago, I would always say, the Lord appeared to me. You know, I was living in, I was drinking and smoking and moving around. My mother was praying for me. I didn't know the Lord. My case was like the case of Saul. Nobody, Saul never prayed for himself. But I believe that there was, there was just, you know, sometimes God just have an intention. You see, that person that might think that he has lost the glory may be one of the persons that God intends to use in this generation. That person that may think that he's bad, that your brother may think that he's, he's lost. No, he's not lost. You are the one that said so. You see, there are many people in scripture that actually there was nothing to write home about their life, but God came for them. So mm -hmm. I believe God can still come for whosoever. So when the Lord appeared to me, he told me that for himself as a man I help is always better than a man that helps himself. From that moment, I know I can't help myself. Nobody keeps this thing by himself. You can't do anything by yourself. You need the help of God. So it doesn't matter which state you are now. Come, the help of God to be available to bring us back from where we are falling. Okay. Wow. Great. Great. Uh, and and uh, 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 Pastor Gift, uh, I want you to just tell us how long the conference is, where it is, or, or, or the venue, and of course, if there are any lines people can call, because some people may be saying, okay, pastor, I want to come, but in case I'm lost, uh, there are some lines that they can use to call the line. So take us through the, 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 the whole pro I know we, we, it started already, but how many more days remaining, and the venue, and plus the contact details? Thank you so very much. So the conference is on today. Uh, it is going up to Sunday evening. It's going up to Sunday evening. That's the Glory Sheet Conference that is uh, taking place in uh, uh, Lusaka South. Just uh, when you're in town, you jump on a bus going to Lusaka South, Yellow Shop. Lusaka South, Yellow Shop. And then you drop on the T-junction. Just uh, that there at the T-junction, you, you turn to your left. Just along that very road as you're going to your left up the tarmac. You see the church on your right. On your right, it is uh, with the hostel there. That's where the conference is. It's starting at uh, 1730 to 1930 every day. So, and on Saturday, we are having it from morning up to evening. We are having two sessions. And then uh, on Sunday, we are having three sessions. So, you cannot afford to miss. This is a place where you're supposed to be wherever you're listening from. All right. Um, Apostle Kepos, um when I, when I look at the Bible, uh, Nehemiah in the Bible, for example, he was given an assignment to go and uh, review the words. And there's, there's a part where he says, I, 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 he gathered the people and he says, I told them of the good hand of the Lord that was upon me. When you look at your lives, there are people that might not have, uh, might not have sat under you when you minister. What kind of grace has God placed on your life? Um, well, um, 
my I believe in the full food ministry. Okay. I believe in following the patterns of Jesus Christ. So I believe that um, your level of expression of the dimensions of God depends mm. upon your level of conformation to the character and the nature of Christ. Mm. Christ is our pattern man. Christ, Jesus was an apostle, he was a prophet, he was mm. a teacher, he was an evangelist. The root of the fivefold operation came from Christ Jesus himself. So mm. when we look at Ephesians chapter 4, we look at the diversities of the offices given, you realize that actually all of them are together needed to build a sense to the maturity of the Christ. And a sense that have matured to the Christ can become anything within those dimensions. Okay. That means a prophet needs a teacher, a teacher needs an evangelist, an evangelist needs a, all of them need each other. So but at diverse levels, as you continue to transit, you will see different dimensions functioning. The same way with the gift of the Spirit. It's the gift of the Spirit. You have the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit comes upon you. He brings the diversities of all of these gifts. An average of you, an average of us, if you really are growing in God, you will find many of those giftings are working in your life at diverse times. So, but what I'm trying to say is this, your confirmation determines that so far so good right now, uh, there are so many gifts of the Spirit that are working in my life. Mm. Um, the gift of discernment, the gift of prophecy, mm. uh, the gift of wisdom, knowledge and understanding, the, mm. the, um, um, the gift of faith and the mm. gift of healing and miracles. Wow. Also, I function strategically in the prophetic and the apostolic grace. Wow. So I'm more like an apostle with wow. a strong prophetic grace upon me. So, wow. But I also have the patience of a pastor. <laughs> because uh, you can have a ministry, have a church, and not have the patience of a pastor. You may need a pastor that will have to be loyal for you to be able to have the people like that. So. Uh, this is wonderful. I feel like I'm already in the conference right now. And uh, if you want to know where to be this weekend, uh, it's to be at Gifted Faith Ambassador Ministries. There's the Glory Shift Conference um, that is taken from 2 Corinthians 3.18. And it's going through up to Sunday. So when you see a meeting like this uh, that has been put up with um, great graces coming and you have guest speakers coming from South Africa, you have Nigeria. And uh, last time Pastor Keith mentioned that our own Father Bishop, uh, Joy Makando, will be ministering. Is that, is that true, uh, Pastor Keith? Absolutely. Bishop will be in the house. And that is on Sunday evening. Sunday evening we'll be having our Bishop, the Father of the Nation, into the conference. So you can't afford to be in this conference that has been covered very well. All right, so can you confirm, Pastor Gift, is this uh, free? Are people paying anything for them to come? No, there is no paying anything. In fact, there is even transportation if you're living in Chawama, Jack Compound, and uh, other areas. You don't have the transport when the conference is over. There are buses that can take you back home. Wow. So you just have to be there. We have provided everything and God is ready to lift you and to bless you. All right. And uh, just in case somebody wants to call, are there some conference, conference lines or lines for anyone that uh, the, the, the people can call? I know there could be other people that may be wanting to come to the conference on the way. Maybe they didn't hear about the conference, uh, mm -hmm. about the venue properly, and then they miss it. Uh, are there some lines that people can call? Okay. So... All right, so the, the numbers that you can call, actually, uh, I've been guided. I have seen the numbers. You need to take these numbers. 0971, please take these lines. 0971-570-0616. That's the first line. 0971-570-0618. The other line that you can use is 0977-9368. Sixty. Mm -hmm. I will repeat that. Uh, zero nine seven seven nine three six eight six three. There could be somebody uh, opposed to care for that's listening to the program right now, and they are in pain. Their their sickness in their body, um, and somebody is going through a challenge. They need a breakthrough in their lives. Please, would you take a moment to speak to such a person and maybe offer a prayer? My pleasure. Yeah. So in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right now I pray by the power. Mm. of the mm. Lord. Healing, the Bible said, is the birth of the true bread. Mm. I don't know wherever you are going through any pain, whether you are sick in your body right now. I mm. administer unto you the bread of the Lord right now in the name of Jesus. Mm. I decree and I declare that every pain in your body be gone right now in the name of Jesus. I release yes. the angels of healing. Yes. I decree and I declare all true 
as many that are connected right now. I ask that let the angels of healing begin to administer healing unto them right now in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Every growth in your body, I command them to die and to melt right now in the name of Jesus. I speak forth by the counsel of the Lord. I speak as one commanded. I decree and I declare that every terminal condition, I change that situation in the name of Jesus. Many of you have believed the report of doctors. Now you have had faith more in doctors than in God. Yes, I ask by the power of the Spirit of the Lord, let every doctor's report be changed right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask right now, wherever you are, be healed in the name of Jesus. As many of you that are going through challenges, crises in every part of your life, I decree a breakthrough for you in the name of Jesus. I ask that by the power of the Spirit of the Lord, let God come to you as Jehovah Jireh, the one that provides. In the midst of the storm, let the Lord calm the storm in the name of Jesus. Many of you are going through depression. Many of you are going through all kinds of uh, 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 depression, all kinds of oppression. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, those spirit of depression, I keep them in the name of Jesus. Many of you are going through attacks, whether physically, whether spiritually. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let them stop right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the power of the Spirit of the Lord, I ask that many of you, if you are listening to me right in the hospital right now, I release the gift of faith upon you right now. Begin to rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. As many of you that are having issues, whether with your hearing, whether it's partial deafness, whether it's partial blindness, or whatever kind of condition, begin to check yourself right now and be healed in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that let the hand of the Lord begin to touch you. I'm sensing an anointing of the Lord upon you right now. Let the hand of the Lord begin to touch you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, of the Bible says, why he is speak, the power of God was there to heal. Anything we command is established by the power of the Spirit of the Lord. Receive your miracle right now in the name of Jesus. You are healed and you are delivered. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. That's so powerful. Um, Pastor Gift, is there anything that you think you haven't mentioned that you feel it's important for people to hear? So far, so good. I just want to say you are all invited. You are all invited pastors. You are invited on Saturday morning. Saturday morning we are having the conference of uh, speaking to pastors. Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon, uh, pastors and the leaders of the church and uh, those who feel they've got the calling upon their lives. You are all invited on a Saturday morning to come and be part of uh, what uh, the servants of God will be sharing from what they have personally experienced, I believe the God that has leaped at them and who has given them the principles that they used throughout for them to be where they are is the same God that will be imparted and uh, the knowledge will be imparted upon us and our lives will never be the same. So we're calling even upon the leaders and also upon other pastors, even the business people, those who are in business, all of them are invited, government officials, they're all invited to come and be part of this conference. From the evening of today up to the evening of Sunday, even the morning of Saturday, the morning of Sunday, the afternoon of Sunday, and the afternoon of Saturday, you are invited. Thank you so very much. These are my words. So, all right, uh, just something to confirm before we, we close. Uh, this uh, this part of the uh, of the broadcast. Uh, um, there are those that may want prayer. Is that time for people to receive prayer during the conference? Um, anything that uh, my host agree on, I think I'm very okay. I'm under his uh, uh, supervision here. So yeah, I think um, I have the heart of the pastor. As many that want pastor time, so long as he permit, I think uh, we just have to be controlled so that we do the ones we can handle. Okay. So uh, let's. We can't do everybody, but at least uh, All right. we have to pass through here. All right. Okay, so in case you are thinking of where to be, why not be in a place where your spiritual life is going to be lifted? And this is a place where you can be uh, this year, starting with this evening, in case you have been missing this, uh, these days. Because of time today, we didn't have time to open phone lines, actually. So, uh, But uh, there's confirmation. I believe that uh, once you go there, uh, you come to the conference, you will take, you will have time where you'll be prayed for. I know you might be having a challenge in your life, one or the other, and this conference has, has come at the right time. I'm so excited, Pastor Gift. I want to appreciate God uh, 
that you were able to put up this conference uh, at the beginning of the year for me i feel i need to start my day with such kind of a powerful conference praise the lord thank you so very much all right so this is where we have to end everything for today and uh find your way to gifted faith ambassador ministries uh in lusaka south and so pastor has given instructions but pastor give to please for the last time the directions somebody might have forgotten or somebody came in the last minute how do they come to the conference jump on a bus from lima tower or seat market to kamwala south yellow shop kamwala south yellow shop drop uh, at the T junction, then turn to your left, follow that tarmac. Mm -hmm. Then, as you follow it, just a few meters, then on your right, you find the church is just by, along the tarmac. Just there, you find uh, the music is already changing the atmosphere there. It's the place to be. Every road is uh, uh, leading to get to faith, right? All right, so this is where we have to say our goodbyes. Make sure that you continue listening to One Love Radio. It's a place to be for inspiration. If you want to get the information, inspiration, and of course, um, anything that, uh, that, uh, that concerns man, because One Love Radio wants to shine that light on your path so that you can know where to stay and where to go. Thank you so much for listening into the program. Apologies again, we couldn't open the phone line today because time is not on our side. As you can see, my guests, um, they need to rush to the place so that they can go and minister. But in case you have something that you want, make sure you find yourself to the venue. We're out of this place for now. And um, join us tomorrow for another. Uh, for me, right now, I'm not going to be back here. Yes, thank you so much for coming through. Those of you that called when we had Prophetess Tico uh, talking about her music journey. This is where the show has to end for me. I'm closing the curtains, but broadcasting still continues. Keep it one love radio. Hello, this is Chanda. Hi, this is Chilu, and I listen to One Love Radio. Hey.